orbit. Now I haven't seen this movie in quite some time so it was very nice to recently re-watch it to see how well it would hold up and I have to say even to this day it still makes me laugh pretty hard. It's a very funny movie all because of Eddie Murphy. To me he just made this movie which I want to note he's one of my favorite actors of all time. Love his personality. But what was very unique what he did in this movie is he played as three different characters. He played as Norbit, Respucia, the giant ape, <laughs> and Mr. Wong, which was the owner of the orphanage. But anyways, how this movie starts is Norbit is a child and his parents just drop him off at the orphanage, <laughs> literally. Give these away. Ooh, you ugly brock one too. <laughs> now you think that's funny. Just you wait. Mr. Wong says a lot of hilarious things. Check this one out. It's a whale hole! <laughs> Bingo! Right in the bro hole! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy old racist bastard. <laughs> and just you wait. You think the movie's funny now? Oh, it gets much funnier as it progresses. You'll see. So anyways, Norbit is pretty much living out his whole childhood at the orphanage, just hoping that he would get adopted, which by the way, he never does. But during that time, he meets this girl named Kate Thomas, which was played by Thandie Newton. And so what ends up happening they get really close. So close, they even poop together. Well, there you go, guys. If your woman is willing to poop with you, then you know she's the one for you. <laughs> At least going by this movie. So anyways, eventually Kate ends up getting adopted, which leaves Norbit lonely. And as Norbit grows older, that's when he finally meets... Respucia. What'd you do that for? Because we felt like it? What are, what are you, you gonna, gonna do about it? Leave him alone. Says who? Who are you? Respucia, what's your name? Norbit. Norbit? That's a stupid name. And since then, Norbit and Respucia were together all the way through high school. And eventually, Norbit was part of the family and met her three brothers. Big Jack, which was played by Terry Crews, Earl, and Blue. Yes, his first name was Blue. But the Lattimore brothers owned a construction business and they were very friendly especially with the community check them out they ran the local construction company and recently responding to the needs of the community had opened a little security business it was a surprisingly popular service among the local vendors hey you don't shake me down i'm italian i shake you down is that right yes get his ass in Things were going so great for Norbit and Respucia, they decided to finally tie the knot. Yeah. Ugh. I have to note, I do agree with what Mr. Wong said. A horror show. Now this is when the movie starts getting really funny, like Norbit making love to his new wife. <laughs> ah yes, what more can Norbit ask for? He's married, he has his own house, works for a family business, 
Respucia's brothers are very nice and respectful to him? No, not really. Meanwhile, the Lattimore brothers are trying to buy the orphanage so they can turn it into a strip club called Niptopolis. Pretty catchy name. So I wonder what Mr. Wong thinks of that. Every man got a price. We think this might be yours. I'm here. It's my counter offer. Can't get enough of Mr. Wong. He's pretty funny. <laughs> Afterwards, Norbit actually bumps into Kate that he grew up with at the orphanage and was just very happy and excited and she wanted to have lunch with him. So he met her at a restaurant, but unfortunately she is with another man named Dion Yuge, which is played by Cuba Gooding Jr. Check it out. Norbit! Hey, Kate! Hi! Come on, I got it at the table. Oh, great, I've been looking forward to this all week. Good. Hey! Hey, who's he? Norbit, this is my fiance, Dion Hughes. How you doing, my man? Sit, 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 sit. Oh, well. At least Norbit has Respucia. Poor Norbit. So the next day they go to this fair I believe or some sort and again Norbit bumps into Kate and you know things are going well and he's just hoping to get some. <laughs> but unfortunately this is when Respucia meets Kate as well. Check it out. So who are you here with? My wife. Right over there in the print outfit. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty. Now I forgot to mention the reason why Kate is back in town is she wants to buy the orphanage from Mr. Wong because she loves kids and I mean after all that's where she grew up as a kid. But speaking of the orphans, check out what they do to Respucia at the fair. <laughs> oh, it only gets better. Check out her reaction when she catches Norbit dancing with Kate. Don't you look skinny, bitch? I see what you're trying to do. I see just what 
you trying to do? Go, Norman! Go, Norman! Go, Norman! Come on, everybody! Go, Norman! Go, Norman! Go, Norman! Go, Norman! But I'll tell you what, why don't we raise the funny bar way up here by seeing them at the Raging Waters Water Park. Check this one out. There you go. Thank you. Have fun. So Brian, Nick, there's one for you. Right, kids, everybody please be nice to Mrs. Lattimore, okay? Okay. <laughs> Kate, I hope you don't mind. I asked Rasputin to join us. Of course not. I'm really glad you could come. <laughs> Are we gonna stand around here all day or are we gonna go inside? Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. What? Are you wearing bottoms? <gasps> of course I'm wearing bottoms! Ew. <laughs> okay, come on in. How dare you? No. <laughs> Imagine seeing that in real life. Oh my lord. Oh, but it gets better. Now check out when she goes down the big slide. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? It's Respucia! I'm gonna show you how a bitch go down a slide. <laughs> oh boy, that part is great. But anyways, let's get a little serious now. So Damien turns out to be a hustler and is only trying to marry Kate for her money so he can buy the orphanage and partner up with the Lattimores to turn it into a strip club to, well, make money because, well, he's a hustler, right? That's what hustlers do. But of course, Norbit was very suspicious by it and tried to prove to Kate that he is a hustler. Check it out. Dion is a fake. He's marrying you just to get your money. What? Him and the Lattimores. They thought this whole scheme up. He's been married four times in the last six years to four different women, and he cheated the women out of three hundred thousand dollars in divorce settlements. Yeah, I heard all about it. And something else. They were gonna they were gonna try to steal orphanage from you. That's what this whole thing is about. You crazy? He's got a big crush on you. He's making this stuff up. Oh, uh, yeah? I'm crazy? I'm making it all up? Yes, you're making it I up. making it all up. Then what about this? Then his evidence that I have. <laughs> now, of course, the Lattimores didn't like that Norbert ruined their whole scheme to build a strip club, so they were going to kill him for that. But the townsfolks decided to pinch in and rescue Norbert. Did somebody just call me a whale? Yeah, I know who! I'm sorry I doubted you. And there you have it. Norbert and Kate live happily ever after, get married, and gave each other mouth. <laughs> all right guys so before i give you my final verdict i just want to thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this movie review this was my first time seeing it and i didn't know what kind of approach to take when doing this i've seen other movie reviews by other youtubers and they were all pretty identical so i didn't really want to mimic off that unless you guys want me to then i will again 
let me know in the comments below and let me know what movies you would like me to review you know that'd be cool so anyways my final verdict well I was well engaged the acting was good a lot of big name actors by the way and I am a big fan of Eddie Murphy this movie kept me laughing from start to finish it had a good pace as far as comedy goes so I would have to give this movie a 7 out of 10 I think it's definitely worth a watch in fact I think it's worth owning if you're into this sort of comedy so yeah guys I hope this was a helpful review and until next time guys take care